and welcome to Black as Well Tarot. I'm your girl, I'm your host, Nadi, and this is a reading for my Capricorns. Duh. Let's get straight into it. Yahweh, I come to you in prayer since you opened up my third eye for Capricorn. Expose everything that needs to be exposed to me so that I can expose it to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or throw off this reading, I ask that you go ahead and send them back to hell where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Y'all, as I was doing that, all I heard in my head was watch your back, Capricorn. Watch your back, Capricorn. Somebody may be stalking you or just watching you and following you around and you have no fucking clue. This may not be somebody that you know. This could be somebody completely random. Just start looking at your surroundings because you never know when you may be next on the chopping block to get kidnapped. Be careful, Capricorn. Be careful. I wouldn't hear that shit for nothing. So, also be aware of a obsessive ex that is is going is, when i say they're re relentless at trying to tarnish your name tarnish your character and just basically have people look at you in the light of disgust when really they're only doing that because they don't want people to look at them like that because honestly if people knew about this person and why you no longer deal with them they would be disgusted mm -hmm. so be aware of that shit mm -hmm. what does capricorn need to know and be aware of what does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got somebody who is honestly a red flag. The reason why they're a red flag is because I feel like this person was a cheater. They were a liar. They were a manipulator. This person was very lazy. They had no goals. They had no morals. They just was bullshit. Zero, zero, zero all across the board. Okay? No. This person is trying to manifest you back into their life because you are a blessing. When you're in their life, things start coming true for them. Things start coming to them. They start attracting wealth. They start attracting better health. They just become a better person overall. And without you, zero, zero, zero across the board. They don't got nothing. And they're damn sure not happy. So that's why they want to make sure that you're unhappy. This is somebody who doesn't want to see you happy if it's not with them. And even if you were with them, they would make it their fucking business to give you moments of unhappiness. Just to keep you needing them. Just to keep you craving for the, the love that you know that you deserve. This is somebody who's very toxic and they use tactics to keep you under their thumb. Mm-hmm. So just know that this person will be back. This is your ex of yours or somebody that you moved on from. This doesn't have to be somebody that you were romantically involved with. This could be somebody that you were even talking to on, on a little, you know, on a little sneak tip, on a, like a little sneaky, you know, a little sneaky, sneaky. It probably didn't get nowhere off the ground, but this is somebody you probably even worked with as well. But expect this person to reach out to you and confess their feelings for you. For some of you all, if you are a man, this woman is going to reach out to you saying that you got her pregnant. It's a lie because it's somebody else's baby. Also be aware of if you give this person that is one to come back and manifest you back into their life another chance, it will end in heartbreak and you will end up letting this person go. This person may not have a car and they may also live a distance from you. But when this person reaches out to you, they're going to want to commit to you. They're going to want another chance with you. Don't fall for it. This person is also going through a bad breakup, so that's why they're crawling their country ass back to you. Mm -hmm. And they're going through a bunch of financial problems as well this person need to get their money up not they fucking funny up also this person may be a gemini libra or an aquarius and baby that's the truth see this person's unhappy and they're trying to crawl back to you this person like i said be watching you so be careful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah i said they crawl on their country ass back to you yeah i did because most of them probably country as hell okay this person is a coward, so they're waiting on you to reach out to them. And the fact that you have not reached out to this person is going to make them and forcefully push them to reach out to you after they get the confidence to. Because <laughs> they know they know you, Capricorn. You're going to chew their ass up and spit them out, as you should. This person can't stop thinking about you, and they're seeing you as a lesson. 
Now this person sits around trying to bury themselves in work to forget you, but they need to be trying to bury themselves in work to make their money right, not to try to come back to you or to use it as a distraction. This person need to get their money up, not their funny up. This person may have gotten a better job since you know they, that you all last talked, and they want to tell you about it. This person wants your, they want your um gratification, not gratification. They want your what's the word, y'all? I'm just gonna say they want your acceptance so bad. They want you to be like, oh yay, who gives a fuck? This person is also somebody who does shift blames. Like they don't want to take accountability. So how can you be with somebody? Or even trust somebody who honestly doesn't like to be wrong. Doesn't like to admit their wrongs either. Mm -mm. What's the hidden truth for Capricorn? What's the hidden truth for Capricorn? What's the hidden truth? And, it's, and I don't know, I just felt this slow movement in my arm. Like this person moved real slow too. And they moved real slow when it came to marrying you in this relationship. But this person wants to tell you they love you still. You mean obsessed with you still? That's more likely. This person also knows that they messed up everything. And it's going to be hmm, a slim chance that you will even think about getting back with them. So that's why they're taking a little while to reach out to you. They already know they're going to get squashed like a bug. Mm -hmm. Current love. Yeah, you can't trust this person that's trying to come back to you. And they're one-sided, very selfish. And somebody who is honestly going to just keep you on a leash and, leash and chain for years and years and years and never fully commit to you, never even marry you. This is somebody who's a time waster, a real life time waster. Current love for Capricorn. Current love for Capricorn. Current love for Capricorn. Current love for Capricorn. Mm. Capricorn, you're working on your money right now. And you're not accepting any offers that are not full offers. You're not settling for less, okay? You're optimistic about new people that come into your life, but you're only accepting offers from people you can trust, people who are loyal, and people who got their shit together. People who are not controlling, and you damn sure not going back to nobody from the past. See, Capricorn, you're getting to know somebody new at this time, somebody that you feel like you have a lot of chemistry with. Mm-hmm. But you got somebody also from the past, this ex of yours or this fling of yours, they want to come back to you, but baby... This person has no morals and they're probably a demon because they don't even believe in God. <laughs> they see that you're attractive and that's why a lot of people want you. But a lot of people can't even love you the way that you deserve. They just want to have you. They want to keep you in a in a cage like Tinkerbell. Pretty to look at, but that's about it. No plans for the future. They just want to make sure you can't move on to the future. Anyway, if you talk to somebody new, this person is very flirtatious with you. Y'all be having these little cute little banters back and forth. And this person also likes to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And I feel like this person makes you open up to the point where sometimes you cry. But you needed that. You needed somebody who was going to soften you up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, new love for my... Oh, and you may end up marrying this person as well. This person who pulls at your heartstrings and forces you to be a better person. That's somebody that you keep. New love for my Capricorn singles. 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 New love. I'm smelling pine saw, so I feel like, you know, it's time to do a little spring cleaning, clean up the house, redecorate, and just basically, it's time to clean your shit up, okay? And this could also be dealing with people as well. It's time to do a clean sweep again. It's that time of the year. Give me some new love for Capricorn singles. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love, y'all. I'm getting all happy inside. Because this is going to be so cute. Okay, so for my singles. You're going to have somebody that comes into your life. They may not be financially stable, but they're not poor. You and this person are going to be fixing up you all's um, finances for the, past, for the next Hmm, I'm here in 10 years. You may be dealing with a water sign. Mm -hmm. You're going to end up probably getting with a water sign. This person is going to end up being your soulmate. This person is going to also be very spiritual. So you won't be you won't be single for long. They're not going to be one-sided or selfish. And this is going to be the one. The sex is going to be amazing. amazing, And the passion will be there. You don't got to worry about this person deceiving you. Because honestly, in a past life, you two were married. 
you're getting exactly what you prayed for. This person is going to be also very codependent on you, so very clingy. And they're not going to want you to leave them. They may have abandonment issues just like you do, but this person is truly going to make you happy. Mm -hmm. And you deserve this type of love. This person is going to treat you well. And you're going to end up marrying this person. Hey. Hey, meet me at the altar with your white dress. Uh, we ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. Let's get married. Let's get, let's get, let's get married. Okay, y'all. Let me, let me get back to it. <laughs> Give me some advice on my Capricorns. Give me some advice for my Capricorns. <laughs> Give me some advice for my Capricorns. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Some advice for my Capricorns. Oh, shit now. Okay. So somebody is finally seeing, I don't want to say seeing your work. They're just seeing your growth. And this person finds you to be very intriguing, very amazing. This person don't know themselves, so how can they know you? <laughs> this is somebody who is a bad friend. They also have bad friends around them. Toxicity attracts toxicity. This person also grew up with an overbearing mother who probably instilled abandonment issues in this person. And that was their first heartbreak, so they know nothing but to break hearts. They probably have a hate for women as well. This person is a gaslighter and a manipulator. This may be the person that wants to manifest you back into their life, but we already see where that's going. They got issues, baby. This person is honestly fighting inner demons. It could be their sexuality or the fact that they don't have the finances that they claim they have. This is somebody who is faking the funk to get the junk, okay? And this person's a cheater. So if you get this person a chance, you're going to be putting third parties. You're not going to be, you're basically going to be throwing away your worth if you get back with this person this person is a liar as well a liar and a love bomber and they have sex addictions and they're drunk but you know better so you do better okay no better so you do better because uh they gonna they coming real soon but we already see that you got new love coming in and that you already probably are talking to somebody that's going to end up being somebody that you end up marrying. So fuck the past, baby. The past. That's just what it is. The past. Yeah, like I said, this person from the past is broken and you're too chosen for that. This person does not. They're not on your level, honestly. This person fake as hell as well. And they may be dealing with AIDS. So don't allow this person to come back to your life just to give you something. Sometimes people break no contact just to give you something. So you can have no contact. This person is honestly an evil person who's boring and lacks luster. This person has been sleeping with people behind your back when you were with them. And they still be sleeping around. And that's why they got something that they can't get rid of that they want to come and give you so that they're not alone in this by themselves. Be careful. This person is also a secret admirer of yours. They are weirdly obsessed with you. They stalk your, you know, they stalk your social media as well as the family members that you've cut off. They stalk you too. But you know, you cut out toxic people for a reason. Don't allow this toxic person to come give you something toxic. Okay? This person has nothing to offer and they're opportunists and they're truly controlling. This person is a demon, a love bomber. <sighs> Capricorn, this person is breaking no contact with you just to give you something that you cannot get rid of. And I'm about to sneeze because it's the truth. Like, oh, hold up. Do not indulge in this person. Do not answer this person back. Nobody from the past, okay? Because they're getting their karma handed to them in the worst way. And they want to come back to you because they see that you're growing and glowing. And they want to come stop you dead in your tracks. They don't want to be alone in this. Be careful. You're being told to manifest your goals and step out and have faith in your dreams. 
There are so many people who are waiting to see what Capricorn got up their sleeve. So show the world who you are, Kathy. Show the world. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. But you have prosperity and success coming to you. That's why this person wants to come and give you something that you can that you gotta live with. They want to be able to ruin the rest of your life. Because they already ruined it when they were with you last time. But you got over it. You moved past it. You you worked on yourself. And now you're growing. And this person wants to count, wants to stop you before you really reach the, a, a successful part of, it, of your life. Because Capricorn, for the next 10 years, your money is going to be looking good. So... What else could they possibly do to stop you? Give you something so you can't experience love, so that you have to isolate yourself because won't nobody want to be around you. They won't even want to share a straw with you. But you got some upcoming shifts in your life and your money. Everything is going to be looking so good for you in the next 10 years, Capricorn. And you're going to have somebody that you're going to end up marrying and their finances are going to be looking good as well for the next 10 years. Most likely a water sign. And a lot of you all are going to be birthing new ideas or in this new relationship that you get into, you're going to end up having a baby. And you're going to be with somebody who is not going to leave you high and dry. You got abundance and new opportunities. So anything that you want to put out, you got to go thumb, Kathy. That shit going to grow. Just like my hair. Okay. And continue to stand in your power. Because this person wants to come back and strip you from it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And you're being also told to save your money. You may fall on hard times. The bills are coming up in the first. You may want to invest in something. Or you may just end up getting a random, you know, spurt of, you know, you want to spoil yourself or something. Just, just save your money, Capricorn. Because something is about to happen around the corner that you're going to need that extra money for. Okay? Now let's get you a message that you need to take away. Give me a message, a takeaway message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to take away from this message? All I heard was don't go back to nobody from the past, but you already know that. But especially don't go back to somebody who is very relentless on trying to get you back. Why are they trying to get you back? It's because they're trying to stab you in your back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to take away from this message? Break the cycle. Don't go back to nobody. Nobody. Once you cut them off, the bridge has been burnt. I don't give a fuck who they are. It could be the damn dog. You're pissed on the floor. You're going to the pound. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Also, help. Help yourself. Okay? Start putting out what you know that can make you money. Okay? Like I said, in the next 10 years, you're going to be financially well off. You just need to start putting in that effort now. It's not going to come out the sky. Also, make time for yourself. Sometimes you need to take a break. And don't feel bad about taking a break for yourself. Never feel bad for that. Because who is going to have you? Who is going to take care of you if you are all beat up and out of shape? Nobody but you. So put yourself first, no matter where at Capricorn. Anyway, this was your reading. I hope that you got everything that you need to know. Be aware that this person is trying to break contact just so that they can give you something that they have contacted, contracted. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I love you all so much and thank you all for the love and support. I also thank you all for the donations. It does help me out in my everyday life. And I just want to say thank you so much. Also, if you want to find me on social media or get your girl on a phone call for a personal reading, everything you need to know is in my description box below. Bye, my loves. Mwah. Also, look up the number 19 because that is a spiritual number and a message for somebody. Bye. Love yourself like I love you.